Hi, hey, Andrew. Andrew. Hello. Uh, I really try not to geek out during interviews, but I gotta tell you, I'm geeking out today. Oh, the no. show is so nice. <laughs> well, it's so fantastic. You're both amazing. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, thank you. You know, Tom, starting with you, what was the scene like working with Gwendolyn Christie as Lucifer? Because for me, it's such a tremendous moment of the series, and you're both electric. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so kind. It was amazing. Um, she is such an extraordinary human, Gwendolyn. Um, she's so um exquisitely intelligent and funny and uh, and in being so is is a very powerful presence um regardless of, of whether she is um embodying lucifer or not um but but and so because of that when it, when i walked on set and she was in that costume and and had those enormous wings which were practical and real it was kind of awe, awe inducing rather than um, inspiring and mm. and frightening and um and and weirdly like seductive like she, I, like she, like I, she, her Lucifer is incredibly like sexy and I found I don't know we she we found a kind of undercurrent of mutual respect I think I, I, within the characters I mean like these two powerful beings who rarely come up against um uh, uh creatures of of parity um and it was it was like to utterly thrilling to do that scene with her well vivian how would you describe lucienne's relationship with dream because she's so professional but there's so much under the surface there i think that yes you know first and foremost there is a hierarchy there he he's the boss officially but I mean I've been told that I'm the boss as well but she's the boss so it's fine but um I think that she is <laughs> what you are oh, sorry. It's true. I think that what it is with Lucienne is she is loyal loyal to a fault almost um she believes in the dreaming she understands how important it is how sacred it is this is where people go to dream everyone no matter who you are it doesn't discriminate and she understands the important work of Morpheus. This is to her the most important of what he does. And he feels everyone so deeply. So she does understand that to contain himself so that the world isn't in total chaos, he needs to have these rules and regulations. But because he's been imprisoned in this inhumane and brutal way for a century, he has come back even more complex and hardened but she knows who he is. These, these beings have, Morpheus, this is the longest time he's ever spent with anyone. Same with Lucienne. They know each other so well. She knows him. So she very gently guides him. She's his conscious. She brings him back to who she knows he is so he can carry out this important work. And she wants to support him in restoring the dreaming. It's her, it's her greatest honour and to... to to be by his side as he does this. Well, Tom, you know, I, I, maybe I'm reading into this. I'm just curious from your perspective as, as you know, playing him. Do, do you think there's a moral to his story? Because, you know, partway through, but halfway, I kind of had a feeling I was getting a sense of a moral to his story. What, what did you think? I think you can't, um, when you're playing a character, sort of think thematically outside of him I, 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 or of them I, I think it kind of it's sort of antithetical to trying to, to, to living in the present which which I think is one of the key things of um of I would hate to say the word acting um <laughs> uh um but but what I do know is that is that he he certainly evolves throughout mm -hmm. the story and changes um he, as Vivian said, you know, he is incredibly hardened and vengeful after um, his imprisonment. And, but the fact that he is vulnerable because he has been, because he has lost his power, um, it makes him the closest to human that maybe he's ever been. And almost more importantly, the fact that he has to ask humans for help um, means that he must begin to start to think about how they think um which i think which i think 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 over the course of the of the um of our story uh, opens a fissure inside of him which um which leads to a potentially a more empathetic and um 
feeling being. Well, thank you both so much for the time. Really a huge pleasure. Uh, I love how emotional the story is and, and everything. It's fantastic. Thank you oh, very thank much. Thank you so much. Pleasure to talk to Lovely you. Lovely to meet you.